It's time for another Buccaneers group chat presented by Florida Lottery. And we have our inside linebacker duo here with us. And I know you guys talk about how well you know each other. So we decided we'd ask some some questions here to see if that is accurate. First, I got to hear which one of you has more swag. That's easily me, duh, on and off the field. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be honest. We, we have our days, you know. Some days I get get that definitely eyebrow like what you got on, and then you know some days I come in you know fly fly. I'm a simple fly, so I'm finna I'm finna give me a stylist this year. I'm finna be clean every game. I'm finna be clean every day. Oh, but if you have a stylist, <laughs> do you get to take credit for it then? If so, yeah, I still I still gotta put it on. I gotta make it look right because obviously they just gonna you know kind of give me the linked to the clothes or whatever probably. I'm just talking on. I ain't gonna get no stylist. I am the stylist. That's what I've, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was where it was gonna end up. Hey, Devin, they be cheating on game days though. He got a stylist on game day. <laughs> I don't got no stylist on game day. On certain days I have a stylist, but other than that on straight. Okay. I wanna hear whose locker is cleaner. Mine, mine, hands down. Hands down mine. He know it, don't even fog like that. Mine. <laughs> Mine clean, it's neat. I don't have all that stuff in there. I mean, I got I got my days of the week where I wear certain stuff to practice. I got it all laid out. My uh my uh my strap is good. I don't got all that junk, that MBM locker. He he his locker got all type of stuff all over it. So Devin, is this true? Yeah, he got to clean the locker, but he he take all his clothes, like, at first I didn't never take all my old clothes. I just kept them right there. He take all his clothes and give them away, like all his bus gear. Like, and start over and fresh every year. So that made his, like, it make him easy to keep up with his clothes. And I be getting more packages and stuff than him. So I just leave it in the uh, locker room sometimes. That's great. Um, okay, so now tell me, which celebrity would the other one most want to meet? Levante, why don't you go first? Who would Devin most want to meet that's a celebrity? Don't say who you're gonna I, say, Tay, because I met him. I know, I know. You you already you already met NBA Young Boy. So I'll probably go, I'll probably go to the baby. Okay. And you're wrong. Alright, I get another shot. Let me get another shot. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. give you can I give him a hint, Casey? Yeah, yeah, you can give him a hint. They play basketball. LeBron? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. LeBron James. Yeah, why? Why LeBron? Um, just you know, I feel like him and Michael Jordan are the, you know, I feel like ultimately Michael Jordan the greatest ever. But I didn't get to watch his era of basketball until the last dance. But the era that I did get to watch has been LeBron James, and you no, know, he no doubt the best of his era. So I just like you know, and I love what he do on and off the court. You know, as far as giving back to the communities and stuff. So I really look, I ain't gonna, I look up to him as a uh, as an athlete. That's who every athlete should try to you know be like. You know, giving back and uh, just being great, being a Hall of Famer. That's awesome. All right, so Devin, who would Levante most want to meet? Um. Oh no, that's kind of crazy to say because he listens to a lot of gospel music, so I don't know what to say <laughs> as far as a rapper uh, or somebody famous. Man, I don't know. That's a hard one, man. Because Tay like to himself. That's that's a hard one. Like he probably don't even have somebody famous that he want to meet. Like I don't know. That's a hard one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lose on that. One. Is that true, Levante? Uh, Do you have I, honestly, honestly, I, I met the person who always wanted to meet Dwayne Wade. Oh yeah, that's his idol. Like yeah, they, all, <laughs> they got the picture together. I, they was on Instagram this summer, so I knew that. That's why I said I don't know. Like they they was on they was on, and you know he a big Miami Heat fan, so you know that's all that old little stuff right there. And I seen them take a picture together this year, so boom. Okay, so I kind of knew that, but that's why I said he don't really like got too many people like that he fun of. Devin trying to take credit for this win after the fact over here. <laughs> He get it though. Uh, he he was right though at the same time. He was. He was right. He was right. Uh, okay, Levante. What do coaches get on Devin about? What do the coaches get on Devin about? You know, nobody don't really say nothing to Devin. Really, Devin. Devin is a good two shoe. Devin is uh, friendly with everybody, so nobody really get on get on about nothing. Uh, probably uh, probably just making a. Make sure D-line get the call, that's about it. 
Devin, is this true? Yeah, I say that and then uh, Ty Boys with the hook drops. He always, he always talking about my hook drops a little bit. He always talking about my hook drops. Like, you know, being more aggressive, running through. So I just say, yeah, that and, and then if the D, something go bad with the D-line, they always blame it on me. So, yeah. <laughs> Levante, what, what, what other career would you pick for Devin if he wasn't playing football? Other career I'd pick for Devin. Uh, horse breeding, if that's a career. <laughs> I mean, no disrespect. I don't know if it's a career or not, but horse breeding, it was something to do with animals, for sure. He, he He's a, a country boy, so some would do a, uh, 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 you know, uh, collecting hay bales, <laughs> uh, running horse the breeding. Huh? Running a farm. <laughs> yeah, running a farm, something like that. Uh, Race horse racing. Horse. He'll, probably, uh, he'll probably have his own... Uh, his own prize horse or something like that. I like that. That's good. Devin, it sounds like you agree. Yeah, I, I think I, if my career, like, if I could, but you got to have the money to fund it. But if I was able to have the money to fund it and not play football or whatever, I'd be into, like, horse racing and stuff, like, uh, standard breads and, you know, going to get them off the track and from the Amish people and uh, training them up and flipping them. So I think that would be my career, like, making money that way. So, Devin, if you had to pick another career for Levante, what would it be? Uh, let me see. I don't know. One thing <laughs> got me in the trace. He ain't got me in the trace about himself. Football, all he kind of do, all he kind of <laughs> know. Bro, it, it's football or nothing for him. So you can't, it can't be. Like, ask him what he'll do if he wasn't playing football. That's him. Nothing. Levante? That's, 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 that was a difficult question. But, uh, yeah, it'll probably be something on the, uh, Like a coach. From... He'll be a coach or something. He'll have to be a coach. Yeah, he have to be a coach. <laughs> a coach. I ain't oh, never I, seen him do nothing else. I wanted to coach. I kind of want to lean into coaching when I'm done, or anything dealing with helping, um, helping the youth. All right, whether it's a social worker or you know probation officer or anything to help you know at risk youth or something like that. Uh, again, uh, in the communities and you know just trying to be a good good role model and uh, leading kids the right way. That's awesome. And that actually is perfect because since this is presented by Florida Lottery, they wanted to hear your thoughts on the importance of education. So I want to hear your pitch. You're talking to kids. You're yeah. going and being Coach Levante. What's your message to them about education? Always stay focused. Stay on track. Listen to your teachers because, you know, it took me a while to get my degree, but I finally got it. And it's such a weight lifted off my shoulder. It feels so good to get it. Uh, it's a blessing to be uh, first part of my first person in my family and enemy the household to get an actual college degree. So I would feel really good about that. But uh, it's real worth it, man. Just stay on track, stay on course, do what you're supposed to do because the education takes you a long way. And uh, with my foundation, Levante Legends Foundation, I'm actually supporting uh, education. You know, uh, giving back, help the kids with uh, with scholarships, funding the kids with scholarships and stuff like that. So scholars, uh, education is something I'm big on and something I'll get behind. That's awesome. And then, all right, we'll close with this. Levante, how much do you trust Devin to have been having a hand in designing the Super Bowl ring? I trust him big time. I mean, Devin was the first person to go to uh, Darcy. Hey, bling him out. I'm like, yeah, Devin knows something, you know? So, yeah, I, I trust him big time, you know? Uh, shoot, he had all the good ideas when we had our meeting, and uh, they definitely gonna look lovely. Yeah, Devin, you, you feel good about your contributions to the ring there? I feel great. Uh, you know, my number one thing was we want big, big A-word rings. Like, we want some of the biggest rings you've ever seen. Because, I mean, it's hard to win a championship. You know, we might not ever win one. We might win a couple more. You just never know. So it's just like, let's take advantage of the opportunity that we do have now. Because, obviously, we can't live in that moment forever. Like, you don't have a 10-year ring ceremony and we get new rings. So we have to make them really nice the first time. And that's what I think we did.